Well, I really didn't want to make this video because I don't want to go down the black pill route. But the reality is, is if the leaked new OGL 1.1 is legit, then yeah, things are looking kind of grim. Things are looking kind of grim. And isn't it too cute by half that this drops right when a hit piece attacking the OSR drops? Don't you think that's just too cute by half? It really makes you go, hmm. Because in the new OGL, the OGL 1.1 as they're calling it, in addition to shutting down your projects for IP violations, Wizards of the Coast now reserves the right to shut down your project based on what they consider objectionable content. Let's, let's kind of take two ticks back on the scope. What did the article from PBS NewsHour proclaim about the OSR? That we're terrible people. And we put terrible things in role-playing games. Objectionable things, even. Isn't that coincidental? Isn't that coincidental? Isn't that a little serendipitous for Wizards of the Coast that a hit piece attacking the OSR as objectionable comes out right when a leak of the OGL 1.1 saying, yeah, we can revoke stuff that we find objectionable. Comes out, don't you think? It's a little too cute by half. However, I think there is a silver lining to this. Ryan Dancy, one of the architects of the OGL, released a statement and said, it's irrevocable. We built that into it. And he cites a clause in the frequently asked questions that says, hey, couldn't Wizards of the Coast change the OGL into a way that I don't like? And it, the response is, yeah, probably. But here's the thing. You can just keep publishing your stuff under a previous version of the OGL and then everything will be hunky-dory. Wizards of the Coast is, well, now Wizards of the Coast is throwing around terms like deauthorized. We're deauthorizing the old version of the OGL. It remains to be seen if they can do that. I'm not sure that they can. But one thing I am sure of if you were pushing ahead to support newer versions of D&D in your products, your kitchen sink products, whether, you know, you're one guy with a Selectric and access to a mimeograph machine, or your Paizo, if you were pushing forward to support the new shiny with every iteration that came out, there's some dark days ahead for you. Me? Not so much. I care about Osiric and Swords and Wizardry insofar as they are gateways for me to publish truly old school stuff. Not OSR like, you know, some publishing companies have wrapped themselves in or OSR is some airy-fairy concept that doesn't really have a meaning other than we want to latch onto this term because we think it's cool and we'll get grog bucks. But OSR as in first edition advanced Dungeons and Dragons and original Dungeons and Dragons, those two things are my focus and I still have my in with those. Of course, there's a third option. 
And it's the option that I initially took when I released stuff for free. Which, oh, by the way, yeah, the OGL 1.1 says, oh yeah, we're including free stuff in this too. So you can't just give stuff away and say, hey, it's cool because I'm just giving it away. So they are going full mid-1990s TSR on us here. But that third option is basically to ignore it. If you go download any of my AD&D modules, DD1, DD2, WGH2, WGH3 through 5, I basically don't mention anything about the OGL. I don't. There's no copy of the OGL in there. And that stuff has been out there for going on 20 years now. And it's been that way without a peep. So, maybe that's around. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not advising you to do that. I'm not saying, hey, that's a hunky-dory thing, and you should do it, and I'm a guy on the internet. No, that's, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you could, not you should. But that's another option. Just simply don't acknowledge it. So, we're just going to have to see what happens. I mean, this so-called leak may have been a very, very deliberate attempt by Wizards of the Coast to to see which way the wind was going to blow when they did this. But, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Scrim time's ahead, folks. I got to drive. I'll upload this video, and uh, I'll be on live later tonight. Peace, everybody.